Well, a local spot in Elmira is getting an upgrade, all thanks to Schmung County Habitat for Humanity. WNY's Marcy Walsh spoke to volunteers about the impact their work has on our community. A humid Friday afternoon is not stopping these Habitat for Humanity volunteers from bettering their community through acts of service. Volunteers of all skills and backgrounds came together this week to turn an overgrown lot into a space the city can be proud of. This community cleanup is a two-day event taking place in Elmira. We are here today because we partnered with the city of Elmira under the city's RISE funding to do some community cleanup. Um, we are overworking in the High Street, J Street, and 3rd Street areas for this event um, based on the needs that were established by our community. Dozens of volunteers completed tasks like tree branch removal, weed whacking, and general landscaping over the course of a few hours. To my right, we have a few of the volunteers. These are core volunteers that come out and help us. They, um, right now we're cleaning up the neighborhood, helping the neighborhood out, have everybody coming out to meet one another and actually get to know their neighbors. The goal of the organization is to bring people together to build homes, communities, and hope. Volunteers express their appreciation for being able to help others in such an impactful way. It's a great vibe. Uh, the people are all excited to be here and you know there, there's joy and numbers and the work gets done a lot faster. You know many hands makes light work and it's just a great great environment. Habitat for Humanity is always looking for volunteers to help out their projects. Um, we can't do what we do at Habitat without the, the volunteers from our community without the corporations, the sponsors, the people that are here today that are the hands and feet of the work that we do. There is another event in Schmunk County happening in September. Volunteers can sign up on the Habitat for Humanity website. In Elmira, I'm Marcy Walsh, WENY News.